Hi, welcome to the Power and Motion YouTube channel. I'm Nick, and today we're talking about the Igo Oka, part of Igo's Outlander series. This brand new fat bike is a great aggressive riding bike. If you're looking for an air suspension, a 48 volts, 14 amp hour battery, or even a 500 watt motor, this Oka is gonna offer a lot of power and a lot of different riding styles. So come ride with me today, and we'll find out more. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Igo Oka. We're down here in Princess Island Park. Right behind me is Center Street Bridge in downtown Calgary. It's a pretty chilly day and it just snowed the night before. So there's a lot of fresh powder for us to rip this brand new fat bike through the snow. Starting in the cockpit of the bike, we have the 740 millimeter handlebars, which are a great width for any kind of mixed riding. So whether you're doing commuting, whether you're gonna be riding single track or you're gonna be doing a little bit more aggressive trail riding, these bars are gonna be good for that. We do recommend that you go to a wider handlebar for anything more serious riding. So if you plan on specifically riding stuff like single track and any other kind of more aggressive mountain biking or even snow biking, having a wider 800 millimeter bar is gonna be a more preferable option for the stability that those bars offer. The cork grips on the bar offer good ergonomics and are great for conforming to your hand after a long period of use. They offer a good soft comfort, but if you plan on riding some, this bike more aggressively, we do recommend going to something like a rubber or gel grip. The Tektro hydraulic disc brake levers are gonna offer a lot of stopping power uh, with this bike, especially when you need it in those rougher conditions, whether you're riding the single track or snow biking, you wanna have that stopping power with the hydraulics. But as you apply more pressure to the levers, you apply more stopping power to the bike, unlike traditional mechanical brakes. The brand new 500C display from iGo is an excellent color micro display, offering a small footprint on your cockpit, as well as offering good information for when you're riding, showing your battery, your pedal assist level, your trip, your odometer, as well as your time ridden, all in this tiny little display. Right next to the display on the bike is the throttle, which is your power on demand. So if you'd like to just hammer the throttle and moped this bike around, you can do that. You can also remove that from the bike if you wanna keep it a pedal assist only bike. Moving down through the bike, we have the RST Renegade Suspension Fork, which is an air fork. This is different from traditional coil or spring forks, which allows you to adjust the stiffness of the fork on the fly. By turning the dial on the top of the fork, you're able to either lock out the fork or adjust it incrementally until you like the preference for your riding. You can also adjust the rebound, which adjusts how fast the fork pumps up and down when you're riding over those rougher conditions. The wheel set on the Oka comes with the Kenda Crusade 26 by four inch tires. Now, these tires are gonna be great for any kind of loose gravel, any kind of slipperier, more rough conditions, or even snow biking. You can lower the tire pressure on these tires to get a lot more traction or comfort out of these wheels by creating air cushion that allows you to float through the snow. Moving to the frame of the Oka, we have the brand new fat bike frames from iGo. Now, these frames have internally mounted batteries, which allow you to keep the bike a little bit more streamlined when riding it, making the whole bike more aesthetically pleasing. As well, they also moved the controller port to the base of the bike. Moving to the transmission of the bike, we have the SRAM X5 derailleur, which is a nine-speed derailleur on the Oka. This gear range is gonna offer a great hill climbing gear as well as a great descending gear, getting you up to speed and climb hill, climbing hills easily with this bike. Moving to some of the electronics of the bike, we have the 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery in the down tube of the bike. Now, this battery is gonna offer you a range of anywhere to 50 to 70 kilometers of range, depending on how much you're using the motor. Speaking of the motor, we have the 500 watt Bafang hub motor, which is a little bit different from other Bafang motors because this one is the top end of their line, putting out 83 newton meters of torque with this geared hub motor. One of the major things Igo changed on their bikes this year was the controllers. Now, this Oka has a Bluetooth controller which allows me to connect to the Igo Connect app, allowing me to program the bike to my preferences. Now, what you can do with the Oka is set it to off-road mode, which puts upwards of 1500 watts into the motor allowing you to climb hills quickly and easily with this powerhouse of a hub motor pushing you up that hill. 
The saddle on the Oka is a very wide saddle, offering a lot of comfort, especially on those cross country and uh, trail style of riding. If you are looking to get more advanced, like we talked about before, we do recommend you go to a smaller saddle so you can get off the back of the wheel quite a bit more. So the Igo Oka is a great all year bike. Whether you're looking to ride it in the summer for trail, or if you're looking to ride it in the snow for winter, the 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery and it's 500 watt motor are gonna put out the power and the distance you need for any kind of riding. If you're looking to bike pack with this bike, or if you're looking to get some downhill riding in, this bike is gonna be able to handle anything you throw at it. If you have any questions about the Oka or wanna know more, feel free to contact us at powerinmotion.ca. Thanks for riding with me today and have a great one.